I have three bold predictions for the next level of DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned. So if you have been following the video editing war that's been going on, then you are aware of how much damage DaVinci Resolve is making to the competitors, such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and Avid, which you don't really even hear much about Avid. And you guys that are using things like Sony Vegas, we're not even talking about you, no disrespect. However, DaVinci Resolve has been making a serious dent in the competition. Now, there are a lot of reasons why Blackmagic decided to take DaVinci Resolve into the editing space. One really quick, short reason has to do with the fact that it's a lot easier to create an editor than it is for current editing suites to catch up on the color side of what they do. And they've been bringing it. DaVinci Resolve 16 is awesome and it's still in beta form. But even with updates in the beta, they're adding so many new features. So these are my predictions for major features in the next versions of DaVinci Resolve. I don't think that's the true reason as to why they're developing the cut feature. I think they'll be introducing a mobile version of the cut tab for you to edit video on the go and then have the ability to pull up the video on your actual desktop. A lot of companies are starting to offer some type of mobile version of their editing suite. Adobe came out with Rush. Now Rush, in my opinion, is the future of Adobe Premiere. It's built on a different platform and that platform isn't as limited as Adobe Premiere and some of the things that were holding Adobe Premiere back for future updates. I like the way Rush is designed. I've used Rush a lot and I like it. I, I hope it gets more features. I'm just not about that subscription life. I like to pay for an app and be done with it. iMovie for me doesn't really cut it. My favorite mobile editing suite is uh, Luma Fusion. I used it a lot on my iPad and whenever I need to edit something on the go, Luma Fusion is my app of choice. But I see Blackmagic Design allowing the cut portion of DaVinci Resolve to work on your mobile device. I would not be surprised if we see this, maybe even by the time DaVinci Resolve 16 completely rolls out and it's the final version. They've been doing a lot on mobile devices lately. So you may wanna look out for that because that may be coming soon. Staying within the realm of mobile, I see them sometime in the future possibly allowing you to use your mobile device as a control surface. It would be nice to see all of your plugins on your iPad while you're editing on your computer and have the ability to just click on something or tweak you know, some color while you have the screen in full screen so you can view it. That's a feature that I can definitely see Blackmagic including in a future version of DaVinci Resolve. Another thing that could be more of a wish than a prediction, I see Blackmagic Design allowing you to open After Effects projects in Fusion. Now, I know what you're gonna say. How, let's use layers, let's use nodes, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure it would take some time to process the files and translate the file over to a Fusion file, but I can definitely see DaVinci Resolve doing something like this in the future. Blackmagic is very aggressive with their applications. I mean, look at how many updates they provide. And I strongly believe if they're not able to allow you to open After Effects projects in Fusion, I could possibly see them allowing you to open effects design for After Effects in Fusion. Now, I know that can be a bit of a reach. That last one is a reach and I'm not going to deny it. It is a bit of a reach, but Blackmagic Design is that aggressive with their software. No other company is providing the updates that they're providing to their software. They feel like the underdog and they're bringing it. I love Final Cut Pro, but we get what? Two updates a year, maybe? Meanwhile, DaVinci Resolve updated three times between April and June. Those are things I love about Blackmagic Design. All right, if you got any crazy type of predictions for what's coming in DaVinci Resolve, make sure you post them in the comments. Let's talk about it. And guys, 
It's just a prediction video. Don't go too crazy. I will see you guys in the next video.